Hey guys, I am sitting out front of a property 10107, I believe the address is, yeah, 10107 Tappan. This is a property that we bought about, oh, I don't know, maybe a month ago, and it's a flip. Let's go ahead and take a look at the property. I'm going to walk the property here for you all and kind of show you what we've done. Hey guys, I am sitting out front of a property 10107, I believe the address is, yeah, 10107 Tappan. This is a property that we bought about, oh, I don't know, maybe a month ago, and it's a flip. It's actually got a really cool story. I was out showing a friend of mine, who's a client, some properties as an agent. We were out looking at some on-market properties, and while we were walking in a house, literally just up the street here a guy drove by and stopped his vehicle kind of blocking us in and jumped out and was like hey are you an agent or an investor and i said yeah you know i'm actually both you know what's going on and he was like cool i don't mean to you know be weird but i own a house up the street and i'm looking to sell it are you interested and i was like yeah absolutely and he's like cool well, you know you want to see it so i was like sure so i followed him up the street to this house right here and had the property under contract probably within 20 minutes of walking the property and meeting the guy the exit with this property is just to flip it it's just going to be a quick flip now the cool part is is in the event that we're not able to flip this property for what we want okay we're gonna it's already listed we listed it yesterday and I'm going to go inside in a second here. I'm going to walk through this property with you all. We're going to just keep it. And we're going to utilize the Burr method and refinance it with the long-term lender and just keep it as a rental, get it rented. So what we've done thus far is bought the property, got it under contract from that story I just told you, utilized a private money lender to borrow the funds to buy it and fix it, okay? And at this point, we've listed the home. And if we can't sell it for what we want, then we're going to get it rented and then just refinance it so we can pay back the private lender. So we purchased this house for 65,000. We borrowed 75,000 and we spent $11,500 on the rehab. So essentially that means that we've come out of pocket probably about 2,000 if you include some of the closing costs that we had to incur to buy it. So we borrowed 75, 65 of it went towards the purchase the other 10, which is really about 9,500 because it's about $500 in closing costs, went towards the rehab. And then we have about $2,000 invested in this so far. Usually we do these with none of our own money, but we pivoted a little bit. And the reason that we pivoted a little bit was the original plan was to spend about $6,000 on just paint and carpet. And we decided after we had done that, that it would make more sense to spend a little bit more money getting an occupancy inspection and permit which required us to replace a couple doors and do a couple miscellaneous items, um, some yard work and cleaning some fence lines, nothing crazy. All in, we spent $11,500 cleaning this house up. So it's not even really a rehab. It's really just paint, carpet, miscellaneous items. Again, landscaping, leaf removal, stuff like that. A couple of little minor things on the inside, like putting up a new mirror in the bathroom, which I'll show you here in just a second. So yeah, again, we're all into this. We owe our lender 75,000 plus interest or a couple thousand dollars over on what we had initially wanted to spend, but we just pivoted, spent a little more. So we're all in, you know, out of our own pocket at this point for 2000. So 75,000 plus two puts us at about 77. We listed this property for sale uh, yesterday, last yesterday afternoon for 119,000. So it's not a big home run type of flip. Uh, the goal would be to, you know, sell it for 115 or more. Once we pay our closing costs, utilities, insurance, taxes, agent commissions, you know, we're going to probably be all into this for, you know, probably closer to about 85,000. Uh, with the interest to the lender and just all those additional fees, maybe even as much as 90000 But if we can sell it for one fifteen, then that's about a $20,000 profit spread. If we have to drop it down to you know a little less, then we'll make a little less. But we're probably under ninety. And I'm just throwing out broad numbers for you folks here. I'm sitting in my car. It's kind of a rainy day here in St. Louis. 
Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the property. I'm gonna walk the property here for uh, for you all and kind of show you what we've done. I haven't created a YouTube video in quite some time. I'm trying to get better at this and just be more active with you folks here. So here is the property. Here is the street. Decent street, decent property. Again, it's raining outside right now. Kind of a dreary day here in the old STL. It's got a one car garage. We didn't do anything to the outside other than just clean it up. We didn't even mess with the bushes, didn't do a roof, didn't do windows. We didn't do any of that stuff. Uh, we just didn't need to. Again, the goal with this wasn't to do a full rehab at all. It was just to clean it up. So you can see uh, condenser is small and kind of dated and we didn't mess with it. We got a little bit of standing water back here, but you know, nothing too crazy. Decent little yard. It's fenced in. It looks like a good chunk of it. Not all of it, but a good chunk of it. Let's go walk the inside of this house real quick, folks. I'm gonna pause the video so I can get in the front door. All right, we are inside and we don't have a sign in the front yard on this particular property. Usually we'll put a sign out, but in this case, we just stuck one in the window. It is listed on the MLS and syndicated out. So we do have our super box here on the front door. As you can see, new carpet, and we painted the entire property, which makes it just look nice and clean. So you can see here, nice and clean. We didn't change any of the light fixtures. We just pretty much kept it. Here is the kitchen. We did put new vinyl plank down. So this was kind of one of the things that we added. We added the vinyl plank. Looks like we have a transition and we still need to tack down. Make some notes here for our guys. The appliances were here. They don't really match. Not ideal, but again, this isn't, you know, a full-blown rehab. It's just something that we wanted to do. So we did the vinyl plank at the front door. We did the vinyl plank here in the kitchen. And we did the vinyl plank over here in the restroom. And as you can see, we didn't mess with the vanity. We did put a new mirror up right here, which is great. You know, everything else in here, the tub, the surround, the toilet, the vanity, it's all original. We didn't mess with any of that. This is a three bedroom, which is great. So here's bedroom number one, here's bedroom number two, and they're pretty good sized bedrooms. Here's bedroom number three. So we have ourselves a three bedroom, Nice big old family room with uh, kind of a dining room off of that. Our kitchen, which is pretty good size. And it's clean. You know, there's a little bit of scratches on the countertop. And, you know, the appliances aren't brand new, but it's livable. And for a price point of 100 and, you know, 10 to 120,000, not bad. You also have this room off the back, not really considered a bedroom because it has this door that goes out to the back of the home. Um, but you got yourself a nice little additional bonus room back here. Could be like a little extra family room or they could turn that into another dining area. You know, whatever they wanted to do, the buyers. Let's go downstairs. Looks like we have ourselves a little bit of a cleaning that we need to do still down here. Not too bad, but a little cleaning. Basement floors were already painted, which was nice. At least in this area, I think we painted the other area. Plumbing's PVC, water heater and HVAC worked. So we didn't really need to mess with that. It does have washer and dryer hookups, kind of dark down here. But you can see just nice big open area for storage. If we go to the other side over here, you can see that we just painted these floors. I believe it was carpet down here when we purchased the home. So again, just a nice clean basement. We still need to do some cleaning as you can see down here. Usually we do this before we lift it, but we wanted to get it live for the weekend and I can get the cleaners over here in the next, hopefully today or tomorrow. So not a huge deal. And at this price point, not a huge deal. But that's it. I mean, basically, we spent $11,000. Again, I wouldn't even necessarily call this a rehab. I would call this more along the lines of just a, like a turnover for a rental. 
Um, and if we can't sell it and make a quick 15 to 20,000, then our goal would be to just refinance it, utilize the Burr method and keep it as a rental. So just wanna make you guys a quick update. I'll do another video and let you know the outcome. If we sell it, if we decide to keep it and keep you all posted. Thanks for watching.